What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we have the incredible opportunity to unveil a top of the line system for DC comic artist Jim Lee. This comic legend and avid gamer needed a rig capable of handling any sort of creative or gaming workload that you throw at it. So we worked with PC Desk veteran Lee Harrington of PC Junkie Mods to build this one of a kind DC themed desk. Hello everyone, it's Jim Lee. I'm a comic book artist and I'm also the publisher and chief creative officer for DC Comics. I have a very long history with video games. I remember getting Pong for Christmas. I graduated from there to arcade games like Space Invaders or Defender. And I really got into PC games because I was just really into MMOs and a lot of them were only available on PCs. Games like Ultima Online, EverQuest, World of Warcraft. Today, I spent a lot of time playing mostly with my kids, Overwatch, Fortnite, PUBG is a personal favorite of mine. The current PC I have was built by hand. I had my friend build it for me. But at the end of the day, I need every advantage to beat my kids because I'm pretty horrible. So I contacted my friends at NVIDIA and we brainstormed over a design that incorporated both a PC and a beautiful desk, something that would fit into my personal workspace, but also allow me to game and also stream. My friends and wizards at GeForce Garage are here today to unveil this custom PC rig they have built for me and it is gonna be spectacular. Before we check out the build, we should chat with the systems designer. Let's head on over to Lee's workshop. Well, thanks for inviting us to your workshop, Lee. Well, thanks for coming down. Can you tell me a little bit how this project came to be? Yeah, we got a chance to meet with Jim Lee, and during that time, he invited us to his home office. While we were there, we checked out his streaming setup and his drafting table. He has multiple computers, he does some gaming, and we were trying to figure out a way to bring that all together and kind of condense it. First, we were thinking about putting a computer into a drafting table, and then that became very complicated. Then we backed away from that and went with a streaming and gaming PC in one desk. Okay, and what desk did we actually end up with? This is the Lee & Lee DK05. This desk was originally two PCs, so I took one of those motherboard trays out completely, took the other motherboard tray, cut it in two pieces, and basically the idea was to kind of spread out all the components Turn the motherboard tray so the I.O. is actually going to the left instead of out the back like normal. Then we ended up rerouting all the cables so you have like all the USBs and stuff coming off the motherboard to a plate that I put on the back here and it's all just quick connect in the back. So I'm noticing a pretty big and custom looking reservoir here in the center. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? We didn't have a theme, right? We didn't know what we were going to do. We started talking about maybe possibly doing like a distro plate or something like that with the DC logo. We started talking to EK and we finally came up with a design. It looked like a distro, but it was basically just a straight reservoir. Kind of lifted up off of the desk so we could hide the pumps underneath it, route some of our tubing and cables, and this is what we ended up with. It looks great. It took me a second to see, but once I did, I noticed that there's actually a bunch of artwork around the outside. How did you go about doing that? Not only did we want to go with the DC theme, we wanted something more personal for Jim. So we approached him about putting a collage together and he took the DC Heroes and made a nice big collage and we approached Hassan from V1 Tech to use his UV printer. And then Hassan was kind enough to do the SSDs as well and we got Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman up front. So what are the actual specs of the PC? For the motherboard we have the ROG Z690 Hero. For the processor we have the Intel 12900K. For the memory, we have the Kingston Fury 64 gigabytes of DDR5. For storage, we have three terabytes of SSDs here. Plus, we have an Intel 512 gigabyte for our programs and our OS. Over here, we have the Corsair HX850 power supply with some sleeve cables from Mainframe Customs. Jim Lee, he loves to stream, game, and do digital art. So we have a GeForce RTX 3090. And then all the water cooling is from EK. Since we recorded our interview with Lee, the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti came out, so we decided to upgrade the system. With the new card in, let's go see how well it performs. So we asked Jim what games he's playing right now, and his main game is PUBG Battlegrounds, which at 4K with everything set to the highest, it was pegged at 120 FPS for most of the game. Over in Warzone, I was seeing an average of 144 FPS at 4K with everything, including ray tracing, set to its highest. And lastly, over in Back for Blood, at 4K with everything maxed as well, 
it stayed above 100 FPS easily. Well, Lee, amazing work like always. Now let's go see what Jim thinks. You guys ready for me to come in? Holy cow, man. Awesome. Wow. Oh my God. Even the areas that are shielded off have a really cool aesthetic. Cyborg here, Superman from New 52. This is a work of art, man. This is beautiful. Oh wait, is this the height? Oh man, <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't know that that was in there. I can move this exactly to the height I want to draw it. I will never be able to work at a regular desk ever again. <laughs> this PC rig just blew me away. I mean, just the pure gaming aspect of it, having the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti card in it. Huge flex in the household, but also when you're looking for that incremental advantage over other gamers, like here it is. The adaptability of the workstation, you can adjust the colors. I think it's really fantastic. I love the DC blue that's in there. The fact that you can adjust the height gives me all sorts of options in terms of whether I'm gaming, streaming, or working. I love the glass finish. It's classy, but it also has a nod to, obviously, the content I've created over the years. There's also one other cool aspect to all of this. This office is relatively small, but it's an accumulation of all the things I've kind of acquired in my career. All these things are here to kind of influence, inspire the work I do. But now having this sort of monolithic, cool piece of art that's the centerpiece of the room, it's gonna inspire and change the way I think about my work and how I create the work itself. As artists, we are impacted by the environments we work in, and that's something I never really thought about when we started this journey together, creating this amazing PC rig. Thanks, Jim, for your hospitality. I really hope that the new computer helps you keep up with your kids. Special thanks to all of our partners who made this possible. Intel, Corsair, and Kingston for some of these system components and peripherals. Lee and Lee for the amazing desk chassis. EKWB for all of the water cooling, especially the custom DC Distro Reservoir, V1 Tech for the great job on the UV printing, and Mainframe Customs for the custom cables. If you guys enjoy this type of video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you for the next one.